Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Uh, so what I want to do for this video is do a quick update on all the tanks and show you guys what... Let me just move some couple things on my desk. Um, how all the tanks are looking. Uh, I'm actually about to do a water change now, which is kind of funny because I feel like every video I'm doing a water change. But it's something you really got to do. So once a week, make sure to do those water changes. Uh, so last night I was actually thinking, I'm getting pretty proud of... What I got here, I got some really nice fish, and they're all starting to breed. So it's definitely coming together very, very well. Um, so if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, make sure to hit that like, that thumbs up. So continue to have some great videos. Um, so yeah, let me start with the 30-gallon tank. So right in here is just a mixture of different kind of guppies, mostly some pond guppies that I had in my pond that I'm continuing to raise out, um, and then some other odd and ends that I threw in there. So there's also a few female superior ed in there, um, a male of the pond guppies that I bred. Let's see if I get a good picture of him. Um, the father of the other ones, which is the swordtail, orange swordtail uh, guppy. There is a male black, um, black Russian dumbo ear. And I think that's it for males. Then everything else is just females and young fry that were brought in that are still genderless. So you can't really tell. And a bunch of fry that were actually just born in the tank. So... Let me start up here first. So right now the superior reds are no longer in their own tank. That tank was taken over, but we'll see that soon. So I'm keeping three for now. I'm, these guys I'm just temporarily keeping. I might um, planning on selling them. So right here we got one, the male and two females. So just temporarily holding on to them. Then we have the blue diamonds, and I'm actually starting to fall for these guys. Someone actually pointed out that it looks like he has a gravid spot, but that's just part of his coloration. So you got him there, female right here, and these are really nice. They're actually really growing on me. It's too bad I don't have a tank for them, so I'll just be breeding them in here. And then their fry will be moved to the bottom. Now in here we have two female superior reds. These were bred with this male in here, just to see what we could get. So this is the black Russian Dumbo ear. Yes, all my tanks are labeled with what's in there. I use a black Sharpie. When I want to erase it, I just use some dry erase marker. Scribble right on top of it and wipe it away, and it comes off really easily. Um, so that's that male down there, very young still. Some superior red females. That's the guppy endler cross. Long finned down there. Let's see if I could find my male. The magenta cherry male. His really nice blue coloring when the light hits him perfectly. Now, where's the other male that I bred? Um, so this guy's getting some color, so he's definitely going to be very similar to the male I already have. Guy's got to bear with me, I'm trying to find out where he went. Ah, he's right down there in the back. Right there, uh, right there. So he's a pretty nice looking fish as well. So his father is that long finned one, and he has some really nice metallic coloring to him. Very shy though, but that could be because he was raised out in the pond and he was just brought in. He's not a liar tail, or I think that's how you pronounce it, L-Y-R-E. Um, it just looks like that because of the way his color stands out. So that's what we got in here, and then there's a bunch of fry. Um, if you look really closely, that is not floating. It's just holding down the lid, and then this is just one of those uh, breeder cones that I built. It's kind of hard to see black on black. Actually, you could see with the shadow of my arm. Um, and that's just so the fry could hide, and you see a bunch of them right over here. These guys were just born a few days ago. This tank, we have the black Russian Dumbo ears. So there's one male, one female. The female is actually getting pretty round right now, so that's, that's great. So that means you should be giving birth pretty soon. I got rid of the cone that was in here, and what I did was I sandwiched, let's see if I can focus better on there, some java moss, so you can see it right there in the middle. Sandwich some java moss between two pieces, and I'm just going to let it grow through, and that way it'll give the fry a place to hide. I don't think it'll be big enough 
by the time she gives birth. But um, there should be enough cover in this tank. If not, I'll throw in some more plants, maybe move some from a different tank into this temporarily so the fry have somewhere to hide. Oh, and then what I'm going to do is there's only three different strains, all are Dumbo ear in these tanks. So I'm using three as breeder tanks, and another one is going to be, these two are going to be the same fish. So these are going to be the, uh, the Dumbo purple uh, sulfur head ones, the mosaics. And then what I'll do is those three up there will be for their fry, so one for each of them. Right now that doesn't work because I'm using them as holding tanks, but that will be the plan. So that's that for those. Then this tank, these are my favorite ones. These are the um, Purple Mosaic Dumbo Ear Sulfur Head Guppies. Their name is long and I get it wrong every time. So in this tank we have six. Uh, one male, this guy right here. I believe that's him, yeah. He's starting to get his nice blue coloring in. Hard to tell usually with the lighting, but really coming in well. And then five females. And then same thing again with that java moss on the bottom. And then we got some in the back as well. So you can tell how he's blue compared to the females. The females are more yellow. But these are definitely my favorite. And he's growing ridiculously. If you saw a few videos back when I first received him, you could tell how tiny he was. But now he's, he's looking great. And then in this tank, we have the... Pardon how dirty it is, I set to clean it out. These guys are awesome. I really, really like this one. So this is the red chili mosaic dumbo ear. So one male, one female. Super active, this guy. And then a bunch of plants for fry. But they were just put together. The female was, uh, it was a virgin female when I got her. So there shouldn't be any fry anytime soon with these guys. I get a bunch of them. These, are bit, these guys would be awesome. Then the last tank right now, there's only <clears throat> some random fry for the guppies. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. From the, um, the pond guppies in here. It's a little messy because this is the holding tank for the corridor cirrhosis while I was um, quarantining them. But I sold them to my local fish store. So now those guys are just in there to keep the tank cycled until I get some more of the um, the purple mosaics to put in there. So that's what we got. <clears throat> that's how the tanks are doing. So I think it's very it's good progress so far. I love to sit here and just watch the fish while I'm doing work on my laptop right over here. So what I plan on doing next year, um, so this year when I sold fish, whatever I had, which wasn't too much because I was still trying to set up this fish room and the tanks and the ponds outside. I was just selling them as, as, for example, if you wanted three of the Dumbo ear, of the purple Dumbo ear, I would send in one male and two females. What I plan on doing next year is you get what you see. So I'll be recording each fish separately. Each fish will be labeled with a number. So like say number one is a male, number two is a female, number three is another female, and number so on until number ten. You could send me an email saying, I want fish number one, seven, and nine. And then those would be the fish you would get. So you would know what you're getting before you get them. Um, you don't see that being done too often with guppies, but I've noticed like on a lot of goldfish websites, that's how it is. You choose the fish that you want because of their colorations and features and characteristics that they have. So if anyone's into breeding, you could choose the fish with the characteristics you want. And I want to do the same thing into the guppy industry, which we don't see very often, but I want to do that. Start changing it up a little bit. Make it more interesting. You get to choose the fish you want. You see that connection better with your fish. So I want to change that up a little. Um, by that time, when I start selling fish again, I plan to have a good amount of stock since I'm preparing now on that. So we'll have these tanks set up. Um, I'm going to say two of the strains are going to be pretty limited. These guys will be limited, and those guys will be limited. But these, I really like the color of these. I want to focus a lot on them and getting them into becoming a pure strain, breeding true, and having amazing characteristics. I want them to have the biggest Dumbo ears possible with the nicest fins and nicest coloring. 
So I want to make them a really nice strain. So that's where most of my focus is going to be. And I still have these guys in here, which there is about 20 or so in there. So usually the pure strains I'm going to sell, the nicer guys I'll sell for a higher price, but then there'll be obviously the fish you have to call out, which I'll also be selling at an extremely reduced price to other people. I don't believe in uh, flushing them like some people do or feeding them to other fish. Uh, so I could sell them to other people that still want a similar strain and want to work on that strain with something that's not so perfect for a really reduced price. So that's what we got so far and that's what this video is for today. Um, towards the end of this video, I actually do have a clip of the current guppies in a 30 gallon eating some, um, what's it called? Some blood worms. So it's about a two minute clip if you guys want to check it out. It's pretty cool. I'm going to see if I could um, speed it up and compress it into one minute so it'll do two times the speed. So you guys don't have to sit there and watch the whole thing. You can actually just watch the fish fly by. Uh, it's, I think it's a great way to see the fish. You get to see them, their color as they come up to eat. So definitely check that out. So once again, thanks for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button because this channel just keeps on growing and I'm so proud of what it's turning into. You guys are all amazing and thank you for all the help. Uh, make sure to hit that like su the thumbs up button. Comment below. Send me any e emails if you have any questions. And until next time, guys, and don't forget to check out my Patreon to support any work I do on this channel. All right, guys, have a good one, and see you tomorrow, Sunday. Yeah.